Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the page, be sure to give us a like and a sub so you don't miss any of the content we have coming out. And today we're going to be diving into Empire, The Avengers, issue number two. If you guys haven't checked out the first issue, I will be sure to leave a link so you guys can check that out, as well as a link to the entire Marvel event. The playlist will cover every single issue that has come out so far, so be sure to check that out. And without further ado, let's dive into this issue. So with the Empire event, we have everybody spread out. And this one takes place before the Empire's Fantastic Four Avenger crossover, number five. So this is before Black Panther has gotten boots on ground protecting the Wakanda Mound. And we're picked up in Manhattan, in Central City. And this is where we have Dr. Nemesis, Vision, and Luke Cage all working together in Central Park trying to fight off some some kind of growing root system in Central Park. And they find out that it's Plant Man. He's essentially sided with the Katati and he's trying to take over everything. Because at the end of the day, they both have the same goal, which is to end all humankind for, for the destruction they've done to plant life. Vision almost tries to bargain with Plant Man in this regard because Luke Cage is tied up and Plant Man seems to be able to create his own plant army so that Katati have helped him realize his full potential which is, could be extremely dangerous so, so we'll see what they can do here because Plant Man could be helping for good because of his control of plants and things of that nature so he could be Swayed to come to the good side and have a detrimental impact. Picking up in Mexico with Quicksilver, Wonder Man, and Mockingbird. The Kree and the Scroll Alliance have them pretty much at, at sword, threatening to, to kill them. And Wonder Man pretty much makes it this political in, in an aspect and creates divide between the Kree and the Scroll in the ranks. And they start arguing with each other, beating crap out of each other. But what really is important in this issue is the story that happens in the Savage Land. So we're introduced into the Savage Land last, last issue. And we're picking up with the Black Knight and Kazar's son. And they're watching from a distance as Kazar and his wife are, are having an argument with Man-Thing in the background. And Shanna has him up by the throat. And, and her reason for doing all this is, is she's controlled by the Katati as well. And, and her being bonded to the Savage Land itself, she's essentially bonded to the plant life and the trees of, and, and things of that nature as well. And she almost kills him, but this is when we see Scarlet Witch use her powers to to enter her mind space, and be and she tries to bargain with her. And, and Doctor Voodoo does the same thing with Man Thing, and we see a battle between Scarlet Witch and Shanna in the in the in the mind space in the mindscape. And Scarlet Witch is unable to break through; like she just can't reach her. But maybe maybe Kevin can, and so she brings Kazar into her mindscape. And they have a discussion and, he, and he's able to break her out. And as they come back into, into reality, we see Kazar impaled with a sword from behind. And that is where this issue ends. Let me know what you guys think. It's one heck of a cliffhanger to leave this on. I can't imagine that he's going to die here, but you never know. That's absolutely brutal impalement. I don't, I don't see how he could be able to survive something like that, but... You know, it's Marvel Comics, so you never know what they can do. And this one's really been focused on the Savage Lands and what's going on in there. While it gives a little bit of bits and pieces of what's going on elsewhere, uh, I really wish they would focus more on just one story instead of trying to give us little bits and pieces. But we'll see how this uh, this all comes together as we're getting towards the end of the series. If you guys haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe to the page. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next video.